So one thing to note in this video is that I have bad sound quality because I haven't figured that out yet and I am sick so that might cause my voice to sound different and it to be low quality. I'm Splash and this is my first video on this channel. So in this series I'm basically going to be playing while talking and then I'll just go over a couple things and then I'll have a little story at the end for everyone to listen to. So please understand if my gameplay is bad or if my speaking is bad because I kind of have to balance both at the same time. But since this is my first video we're gonna just kind of cover pretty basic stuff. But so far, what I have done to make a name for myself is I've done a lot of streaming, about like 155 hours, I think. I haven't looked in a little while, so it's probably more. I'm going to be streaming later today, and I streamed last night, and you know, I'm just constantly streaming. But I usually stream Bedwars content. Uh, lately, we've had a um a friend that I met on TikTok playing with him, you know, just having a good time. He's really good, so I'm gonna make a couple videos on them. Unfortunately, I've not had a second of good recording because of corruption and me having to reinstall OBS and Streamlabs. It is a pain, but we you should be able to see some YouTube videos of him coming out. He's a very good player. So I don't know exactly how to explain it other than saying that it is going to be a 3D model rigged up to my face cam. So basically how it works is that I'll have a 3D model and it is not from an anime but it is in the anime style because well there's really no other good styles um, for this medium, it's gonna turn out the best, you know, so I couldn't do a realistic one, that would be stupid, I've heard people tell me that I should do a realistic one, no, that's dumb, and, you know, I've had all these doubts, like, ah, oh, I don't know how it turns out, and, uh, since this will be the virtual representation of me, I hope it looks good, you know, but, you know, you, you get what you can ask for, I'm gonna try my best, but I hope it suits me, and it suits this channel. I do have other platforms. I have a TikTok. I, I put I put effort into TikTok because that's a way to get to a large uh, amount of people. But, but from now on I'll be focusing most of my efforts towards this YouTube channel because I feel like it is the best long run growth and Whenever I make a video, I feel like it can still gain popularity afterwards. Um, unlike other platforms like TikTok, it's a one and done. I spend 30 minutes, sometimes 45 if I have technical difficulties. But, um, and then it only gets, let's say, 100 views, you know, and then it gets like 17 likes. And it's not, it's not that fun. But it is important have multiple platforms, so I'm glad that I have my Twitch. It's been going strong. I hope it goes even more strong in the future. So this story is gonna take place at a bike park, and I was very young, about seven, I was a little kid, you know, and I have this bike, but this bike park, how it's set up, it, um, it has a, here, I'll draw this out, I'll draw it out, just don't make fun of the drawing too much. So it has a front entrance, uh, which is the parking lot, and it has this one trail that's kind of in a closed loop. It's, uh, kind of for, like, the kids, you know, so that's naturally where I'd be. I'd, I'd go on the other ones. I fell in a cactus bush. It was not fun. <laughs> so I decided to go in this little kitty section. It had a couple 
very minor um, ups and downs, and it was kind of in like the tree line. So there was a farther section away from the main path, and there was a closer section. So I went through most of the park. I was went through the wooded area, the little tree section. And so I came out from that section to a more open path. And I was, I was going pretty fast. I wasn't going too fast, you know, I was a little kid. Uh, my legs couldn't pedal that quickly. But uh, I was gaining some speed. So I was going around the bends, you know, there's a couple trails going back and forth with uh, some moderately sharp turns. And then I go around this one turn which had a boulder on the corner of it, so you couldn't really see past the turn. So I go, I book it around this turn, and then all of a sudden, there's something in my path. So the kid's on this tricycle, and they are positioned towards me, so they're actually going against the flow of traffic with all the bicycles. I was not the only one at this park, okay? I just happened to come around this corner, the only blind turn in the whole entire part, right as the kid was going the opposite direction. Now, the kid must have been max four years old. Very bad tricycle, you know, you've seen them. Fisher Price tricycles, they're, they're horrible. So I actually put on my brakes. But since I was going so fast around this turn, and since it's really just some dirt and some pebbles, it, there's not much keeping me to slow down. I My wheels have locked up, and I was basically, there's nothing I could do. But I somehow roll over this kid, um, and it's a little tricycle, and I knock into their parents, and... Their parents are super pissed. But then again, they're going the wrong way on this little Fisher Price tricycle, and they have their four year old there at a bike park with the other kids. Again, going the wrong way. I don't. Why were they mad at me? They should be mad at themselves. Like, that's such a stupid thing. You're literally asking for this to happen. But ranting aside, they get super angry at me, and they go up to my parents. And my parents were just sitting there, you know, having a good time. It was actually, it wasn't my parents. It was my, my dad and his girlfriend. And they start yelling that I hit their kid. And their kid's crying, you know, but mostly because they made a big deal of it. You know how, like, children, they, um, they don't make a big deal of it? Unless you do. You know what I mean? So if you overreact and you're like, oh my god, are you okay? They're gonna think that they just died. You know? But if you're all calm about it, then they don't care. So they're overreacting. The kid's crying. And they look. I, I, the kid's got a scrape. I, I was the one who actually got dinged up here, but I, I don't know what they were even saying. You know? But I know that they were yelling. Because I, at this point, had uh, kind of stormed off to go cry at what I had done. <laughs> The kid's sitting over there, they've stopped crying, let's just go home, you know. So, overall, bad experience. Uh, moral of the story, don't bring your little kid to a bike park. Well, actually do! You know what? Do bring them to a bike park, but do not bring them on a uh, Fisher Price little tricycle. And uh, do not go against the flow of traffic. I'll see you guys next video. Thank you for watching to the end on this one. And have a lovely day. Bye.